Relax. Where are you right now? Are you running around in the 10,000 things of Maya, trying to play the game and play the game better than everyone else? Climbing, climbing, climbing that hill which is made up of all the other human bodies to which you can never get to the top of? Or are you relaxed? Are you moving from a place of truth and grace and ease? Are you remembering that one day we are all going to become what we were before we were born? And one day we will have everything that we want And one day, we will have what we feel to be nothing, but relax. Because until that day comes, we can go on in a peaceful state. We can go on living the way that we truly believe is right. And I'm the first to admit that I can get so caught up in the 10,000 things moved about from this direction to the other, just trying to figure something out, which I'll never figure out. And I need to talk to myself about these things. So I'll wake up and I'll say, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. And I'll run down the list and get myself excited, crazy, frantic even, and really not get anywhere. Really get so crazy that all I end up doing is chasing my own tail. Does this sound familiar at all? Because I know, I know of another way. And I practice another way. But it's so easy to get caught up in that old habit. That old habit of the finite game. Climbing that tower of other human bodies trying to climb to the top. We don't know where we're going. We don't know where we're going. And I think that's the most important part to remember. Because it can be so easy to get a vision in our head that this is right and that is wrong. But as Unsi says, the path of this and not this is inexorably confused. Confused because how can we know? How can we know? The greatest tragedies can become the greatest fortunes. One of my teachers, Michael Park, tells a story of Fatima, the tent weaver. And Fatima lives a very hard life to begin with, sold into slavery, lost at sea, learning a hundred things and losing a hundred things, until one day she finally ends up on the shores of China brought to the emperor, who's been looking for a woman for years who could weave a tent. And sure enough, all the skills that she had had and had learned through her years growing up, through her years of tragedy and forlorn, had brought her to this single place so that she could live happily and give others the gift that they asked for and exactly the things they needed. And I think this is a really important story because again, we don't know what is tragedy. We don't know what is misfortune. We don't know how our plans and how our visions will lead us to the place that we're going, but we do know one thing. We do know that if we force and strain we end up hurting ourselves. Now this is true in every area of our lives. This is true in respect to exercise. You push too hard, you tear a ligament. You push too hard, you sprain your ankle. And as well as the realms of relationships. You try too hard to make your relationship good. You try too hard to keep that person with you. And guess what? Well, You damage the relationship. You damage the connection. Who knows why? Maybe you cheapen it. Maybe you scare them. Maybe you trigger something in them. It doesn't matter. The point is, the path of least resistance is, I think, the best path to tread. Now, part of this is also the idea of the medium effective dose. 
and the minimum, the minimal effective dose. And the minimal effective dose is not the idea of how much can I do to succeed here, but rather how little can I do to succeed here. And the difference is great. And we would be wise to heed the difference. Why? Well, because so often we get caught up in doing too much for no reason. So like I said, relax. Relax. Take a step out of the 10,000 things or the 20,000 things because you're caught up in two worlds at the same time or the 100,000 things because you're caught up in 10. Take a step back. By moving away from the problem, you'll have better resources to know how to deal with it. Just like it's hard to give your full punch standing right up against your target, so too we must remove ourselves from the immediacy of our situations to allow the grace of a solution to come in. So much love, many blessings, take a step back and relax.